<laughs> yeah, I'll rock with the past or something. <laughs> After we have this off, we would ask that uh, Mount Ali uh, sure go ahead and take the choir stand after you come around. Before. Amen. Amen. All right. Come on, Ursus. Y'all, come on. I don't see you. Sister, who cool is you? You got one? Okay. Who cool is Sister Betty. Thank you. Who's gonna do Mama or Jason? Hmm? You gonna do it? Sister Lynn. Brother Ronald. He got
Anybody else want to give an extra? <laughs> all right. Offering has already been blessed. Amen. Thank you all so much. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you all. time to go higher. Amen? Amen. Look somebody say it's time to go higher. To go higher. Amen. Amen. I'll just pack a few seats and definitely uh, give reverence to God who is the head of our lives, to all of you, my sisters and brothers in Christ. Good to have some of my friends here with us. Amen. And uh, these boys don't need no introduction. What the special treat um, here with us at St. Mary. He was here a few years ago and it was uh, during the pandemic. He was here and wasn't nobody here with him. Amen. You know, y'all remember when y'all were sitting at home saying y'all wasn't going out? Amen. This young preacher came. This young preacher came and he preached uh, one night of our revival and uh, and uh, we had a blessed time in the building. Amen? Amen. So I thought it was worth him coming back. Amen. Just to be able to preach to some people this time. Amen? And I wanted him to come and bless us and bless this house. And this is uh, one of my friends uh, here in the city. One of my, my partners. Amen. 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 We have worked together. Literally, amen. He was my boss at one time. I think he fired me, I don't know. <laughs> amen, and then uh, we worked together in ministry. I had a little thing called Inside the Pastor Study. Anybody heard of that? Yes. All right. yes. Well, he was one of us, and, uh, and I just enjoyed uh, being around this young man. Amen? Amen. Uh, now, we don't talk every day, and we don't be at each other's house every day. Amen? Every time he wash, uh, wash dishes and throw out the dishwater, you don't see me at the door. Amen? Right. But when I need him, all I got to do is call him. Amen? Right. And that's a blessing to have somebody, amen, that will come through for you. Amen? amen. And so on today, we're going to be pledged to have with us the proud and the humble pastor of the Mount Olive Baptist Church of Winona, Texas. I want all of you all to stand on your feet and let us receive Pastor M.L. Collins as he comes and directs his choir. Y'all give him a hand as he comes. Let's go. 
God I have for you. We count the blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. I ask the pastor if I feel the food that I win. That content is for me never got back with me. But I think I got a few or two or three. Alright, alright, alright. Yes, sir. Anyway, <laughs> Mount Olive, would you please stand where you are? That's the one from Mount oh, Olive. Oh, 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 oh. That's family and students. That's my family too. Both my family and Mount Olive stand up at the same time. All right, family. Oh, oh, oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank God for all your support. Thank God for my uncle over here in his condition. <laughs> his polo shirt today, God bless <laughs> Amen. I can get away with that today. Right. Thank God for my dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank God for Dad, 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 she was very modest today. <laughs> that hand, y'all can see her around the hand today. All right. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All, All right. right. And then my two sisters, wave y'all's hand. And I got a brother in law now, y'all. My man. All right. I love you all. That's what we preachers do when we start with a little nervous. So, well, uh, sister. Oh, hey, hey, sister Paula. Did you raise your hand? God bless you. I'm sorry. That, that's my dad. Why I'm just a, just a single brother. I, got it. I don't want him to say it. All right. We're here for my time. I know, of course, we'll come back to you. God bless you.
a sinner rich and undone. But you still here. You have the best seat in the house. Someone perhaps pulled up this afternoon, this evening, and you feel like you're in last place. But I need to remind you on today, you have the best seat in the house. Believe it or not, someone that's sitting next to you, to the left or the right, uh, they will love, so they think. To be in your shoes. Your life looks better than that. Your car looks better. Your house is bigger. But you don't know what the hell that they are going through in order to obtain the things that they have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You say I should be married by now. Mm. Yes, let's see, let's see. By now I should have a better job. Mm. Lord Jesus. By now I should be over here. But I need to tell you on today that you have the best seat yeah. in the house. I, I just really wish that you would embrace your seat. All right. Hold on. Just say thank God for your seat because your kids made it home. When somebody else's child didn't make it home, you have the best seat in the house. You went to a funeral, but the funeral wasn't your funeral. I need to tell you that you have the best seat in the house, and I tell you why. Not because you've been so good. No, 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 no. Not because you don't still cuss. And curse for those educators in the house. But yet, God still blesses us with new mercy. Yes, He does. Every single day of our lives, every morning you get up, you have the best seat in the house. I wish I had some believers in the house that, that, that when you realize when you woke up, you still have the roof over your head. And when you got up, you didn't just get up and lay in your bed. You were able and capable of getting out of the bed. Do I have anybody in the house that can testify with me and accept the fact that you have the best seat in the house? I discovered that if you get somewhere before me, that's all right. If I stay in traffic long enough, the people that pass you, you will catch up with them in due time. I don't know if it's going to be because their car broke down or there's going to be a stoplight. Either way, folk that pass you, you'll eventually catch up. The Bible says in due season. Now, not on your time, but... Somebody knows that he's an old time God. Come on. Oh, yes, he is. And with that being said, I, I need to remind you, you have the best seat in the house. You say, how do I have the best seat in the house? And I don't know how I'm going to pay THU. Rent and mortgage is about to come up, and I'm sure. But how many of y'all have seen God? Keep lights on. Yes, Keep bills paid. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Perhaps I got the best seat in the house because I know who's with me. Yes, Lord, I'm with you always, even to the end. I wish I had some believers in the house that can thank God for your seat. So the Lord, my God, is my shepherd. Uh -huh. First thing said, the Lord. The Lord. Yeah, yeah. The Lord. Uh -huh. Not Ray. Come on. Not Ben and Cook. Right Pookie. Uh -huh. The Lord is. The Lord is. Not your 401k or time to plan. The Lord is. Lord. The Lord is. The Lord. Not that brother or male or sister uh -huh. 
that used to help you out along the way? The Lord. I don't stay there so long, you get offended. Yeah, stay there, stay there. However, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes, sir. And I shall not want. Lay your foundation, Lay your foundation. When you don't know when to lay down and wait, the Bible says in verse 2, He maketh me lie down in green pastures. How many of y'all can thank God that he'll sit you down? Yes, sit down, brother. Because you wouldn't sit your grown self down on your own. Huh? You want to thank God. God. God, every now and then, will allow a car that's been running fine. All right. You sit you down, brother. Not to fire up. Ah. Saved you. He, he really saved us for some trouble. Do I have any witnesses? Yeah. Some of us, you want to thank God when you don't know how you're going to pay some bills. Because if you had that money together... <laughs> he making me lie <laughs> in green pasture. He leaded me beside still water. Deliver me from people that say they want to be led, but really can't nobody lead them. <laughs> if, if, if God can't lead you, that Negro you with, he can't lead you. I don't care what kind of job he has. I don't care, I don't care how much prestige he has. Nah, if you don't want to be led, you just can't be led. Yeah. People just say they're gonna sound good. Yeah. Yeah. I want the Lord to lead me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you're gonna do whatever you want to do. Because you grow. And I've been paying my own bills since I was 18. I moved out as soon as I So he leaded me. Tell your neighbor, let, let, let the Lord lead you. I, I really want y'all to stop lying on the Lord. The Lord told me. Stop lying. The Lord said. If you can't give God thanks for the things you say and do, the Lord didn't lead you. How do I know? How do I know? It's that in everything, we ought to give God thanks. So you can't. Him, you all not be thinking about it. Some of y'all got some thoughts in y'all's head right now. Watch it. Get out of my head, Reverend. Uh huh. Lord, leave it. Just say, Lord, leave it. Lord, leave it. And here's the daughter. She said, she said, deliver me from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she realized that she was her biggest problem. But that's not just Leandro's testimony. Oftentimes we say God, uh, He's doing it for them, but He ain't doing it for me. Well, well. Huh. Or what's taking so long? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But they that wait upon the Lord, hey. He shall renew. I wish I had some waiters in the house. And I ain't talking about waiting at the restaurant. I'm talking about waiting on the Lord. Do we? Do we have some spiritual waiters in the house? That if you wait. Oh the Lord, the Bible says he shall. Come on, brother. come on, brother. come on. I, I want to know if I'm talking to some waiters in the house. Yes, you need to know that you have the best seat in the house. Yes, sir. The Bible says he leads me beside still waters. In other words, God, God leads us where he needs us to go. And if we allow the leaders, perhaps the waters wouldn't be so troubled. Sometimes we go places that God never told us to go. Somebody tell the truth. Be delivered. Be delivered. Just admit it. God didn't tell you to go get a car. Don't do it. Don't do it. You want that car. I looked here in the text says, He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. That's in the Bible. Some folks talk about they can't. That's not the Bible. That's not accurate. 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 Because Philippians 4.13 said, I can do all things. So don't, don't say when these folk come around you, you can't help yourself because they go all over you. <laughs> no, you just went off because you want to go off. <laughs> then, what, what's in you will. Uh, 
I need to know, I need to know what is in you. Then nobody make you cuss. No. No, Reverend. No. no. I don't care how much you like, I didn't make you do it. And let me tell you, I know I did. Because that's the thoughts that's in your head about me, but God's thoughts about me and you is, he said we are fearfully and wonderfully made. I need somebody to shout right there because, see, folks don't like you, but it's because God has put something in you. Yes, sir, man. All right, Mr. All right. All right. In the paths of righteousness for his name. Yes, sir. You so worried about you, you can't see that God did all that he did for him to be recognized for who he is. Well, How do you know? The Israelites, they was in the hand of Pharaoh and they were sitting there in bondage. And then God told Moses to go down there and say, let my people go. Three times. And then he let them go. And shortly after he let him go, he let them go. The Bible said he hardened the heart uh -huh. of Pharaoh. That's foul. Yeah, that's foul. Now, why in the world would you deliver me and turn around and harden the heart of the one who held me hostage? My God. My God. See, if God didn't do that, they may have thought Moses had the power. Yeah. Come on. If God allowed you and your bank account to get you out, you would think you had. Come on. See, God has the power to deliver, but you got to be ready to be delivered. We only want to hear the text says God will never put more on you than you can bear. If you ain't rich, you can't bear. If your hip ain't no better, he know what there was, you would show out. <laughs> it sounds funny, as God. There was a thorn. I wish I had some Bible reason. That was put. What he said, Reverend? What he said? He asked the Lord to remove it through. Three times. The Lord told him no. But then Paul said he discovered that my grace. I wish I had some help here. God does not intend to remove everything and everybody from your life, and he ain't got to do it in order to bless you. How do you know? God does not have to move you in order to bless you. How do you know? He said he is a very present help. And I wish I had some out of it. In the time of trouble. Text reads to us, yeah. and it encouraged me to know that I have the best seat yeah. in the house. In the house Don't the you house. let nobody put no no darkness on your light. Don't right. you know there are some spiritual parasites oh that see you happy oh and they ain't happy, oh and they don't want you happy, you and they happy as long as you broke as they are. Yep. They happen while y'all both can't find no man. You get your boo, all she talk about is him, him, and him. Come on. Come on, guys. I need to tell you that you have the best seat in the house. Understand that your man ain't the best man, but you got a man. Thank God for it. Go ahead, clap for him. You will clap for him. Because if he put up with you, and you know you're no touch. You are. And vice versa, this ain't no beat up here. We we all have some stuff. We ought to be thankful that anybody will be with us. Walking on your hands like you better than somebody. No, you ain't. The Bible says that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. So I like it. I like, I like the text. Now I get out of your all's way. It says, 
He gonna restore your soul. God told us that. He lead him in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Not you. Uh-huh. See, if you want to come up for you, you're probably not going to come up. Mm-hmm. And then when you do, understand this. To whom much is given, much is required. That's not how that verse ends. Uh-huh. Come on. It says, to whom much is asked of. Uh-huh. Now, you want God to bless you. You want God to take care of you and you say, Lord, I just want to be comfortable. I ain't trying to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. So you know when you start showing off a little bit and you ain't getting the synthetic hat no more, you got the real stuff. You ain't got the gas station here no more. You Listen, listen. I thank God for deliverance because most people, they struggle with the have and have nots because of where you think you ought to be. Uh, but where you are is a word, it's where you're supposed to be right, right now. Right. Tell your neighbor, this might just not be your seat. This might not be, it, 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 it's my turn. It might, matter of fact, celebrate me. It's sad when people that say they love you can't celebrate your success. It's a sad day, but then guess what? That's when those haters come. We getting a little closer to that verse. We gonna go on home now. The Bible says, He leaded me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk, He ain't running. Yea, though I walk through the valley. Of the shadow of death. Come on, come on. He says, I will fear no evil. Right, right, right. That means that no matter what kind of lies you tell on me, uh-huh. I'll fear no evil. Well, well. No matter how many times you plot on me, uh-huh. I will fear no evil. The psalm says he has some confidence here. Uh-huh. Because he said he ain't alone. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Uh-huh. Come on, man. He says, I will fear no evil. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. I like how he said, I will fear no evil. Uh-huh. And the reason I like that because you need to know every time that you do good. Yes. Evil is always present. Did you hear what I said? We need to be like the sources here. And learn how to walk through the valley. Did you hear what I said? Ain't no need in worrying for what tomorrow is going to bring. Because it will be be all over in the morning. Did you hear me? Because I have the best seat in the house. Ain't God all right? Ain't no need and you get mad because uh, I can smile through my storm. Yeah. Some people want you to look like the things that you're going through. Ain't God alright? But I'm glad uh, yes, sir, uh, that I don't look like uh, everything uh, that I've been through. Did you hear me? I've been through hell. And I walk. Yeah. Oh, 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 o
Uh, if there ain't anybody out there uh, that can testify with me, uh, God, turn it around. Hey, God, you ain't got to get in no hurry to get out of what the end. Because uh, we serve a God uh, that are getting mad with you. Did you hear me? If you don't believe me, uh, just call the three Hebrew boys. Yeah. When the lady looks back in uh, the power furnace, uh, yes, sir. Uh, it started with three, uh, but then it was four. Hey, God, already. Uh, anybody know him? Uh, he'll get it out with you. Just wave, uh, wave.
I dare you to come on, come on. But special prayer, this is your stuff. Don't get what you need from the right now. Don't worry about who's sitting next to you. Don't worry about who's sitting next to you. Say nobody man but the devil. Come on. It doesn't look like it. 
the news that we get from doctors and wrecks and so many different things that happen. It doesn't feel like it in the moment, but even then, you're still God. Even now, he said you are a prison help in the time of trouble. So right now, God, you're helping us even though we don't understand. Faith comes by hearing and not by sight. Your word said that you will supply. Not some, but every one of our needs. Your word said you will never put more on us than we can bear. Your word said all things work together for good of those who love you. So God, we're just professing your word back unto you. You said in your word, God, that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. In the name of Jesus. So we declare the decree on the day that God, we can make it. We will survive. We are survivors. We have made it. And we made it out all right. So in the name of Jesus, we'll bring your covering and your blessing over the lives of those who will come down. God, they don't have to tell us what the issues are because you know about it. But right now, God, we plead the blood. Right now, we plead the blood over our relationships. We plead the blood over our children. We plead the blood over our health. We plead the blood over our finances. We plead the blood over ministry. We plead the blood over everything that we come in contact with. In the name of Jesus, the blood still works. The blood still works. So God, have your way. For we cast all of our cares on you. And we're going to leave it right here at the altar. God, in fact, God, help us. Help us with our unbelief. Because, God, you have not changed. You are the same today as you were yesterday as you will be forevermore. So, God, since you have not changed, what you did before, you're about to do it again. What you've done before, you're about to do it again. God, we're going to praise you in advance. But we believe that it's already done. The name of Jesus, there's something about the name of Jesus. It is the sweetest name that we shall have. There's power in your name. There's love in your name. There's hope in your name. There's joy in your name. There's peace in your name. In your kingdom. We leave it right here. In Jesus' mighty and precious name that we do pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. God bless you. Come on, y'all, give Pastor Collins a hand. Word on today. Yes, I, I, I want you to know that you got the best seat. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. You got the best seat because somebody wished they was in the seat that you took me. And here you are. Don't take your seat for granted. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. But you ought to thank God for the best seat. Come on, come on, give my all of a hand. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, we thank God for these musicians. Y'all give all these musicians a hand. Yes, Amen. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, we thank God for all of you. Uh, this day wouldn't have been made if it first wasn't for the Lord. Amen. But then your presence, Amen, made it all the better. So we just want to thank God for all of our guests, all of our friends, all of our loved ones for coming on today. Amen. And I, and I want to say today, this year, the year 2023, since I've been here, will be the first year. We have all these college boys, they're going to preach this year. Amen. All right. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't be here. With a shirt and tie on or something. <laughs> yeah, he showed out today. Pastor James Collins will be our speaker for our homecoming service uh, fourth Sunday of July. Amen. 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 The start of our revival, and then our revival, our 
evangelist for our revival will be none other than Pastor Ethel Collins. All right. All right. I'm All looking right. forward to that. And, uh, I just thought it'd be fitting to have young Collins come and lead the way. Amen? Yes, it is. Amen. <laughs> Did he do all right? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Lord is really using him. Uh -huh. Now let's continue to pray for him and yes, his right. ministry. Amen. Amen. That the Lord will truly bless. Yes. Amen. Keep Brother Don in, in your prayers. Uh -huh. He's getting ready to travel uh, pretty soon to go and see about his daughter. Uh -huh. It's hard to to know your daughter's down and you can't get to her right. like you want to. Amen? Amen? So let's be in prayer for him. Uh, we do have some great news. Sister Mariah, she made the dean's list. Praise the Lord. She made some stuff, Mariah. She sang that song earlier. Amen. Did she sing? Yes, she did. Amen. Turn up the church, did Amen. And we just thank God for all of you. Uh, we got some refreshments in the back, so don't y'all just run out of here and leave, but come back and uh, enjoy the refreshments that they have prepared for you. Amen. Amen. Um, I, the mother and the father of the St. Mary Church. Look at them. Don't they look good today? Amen. They're here. Amen. Bro, you, you want to say something? Well, I just want to say the college boys back home. They have a roots back here. We want to start this product up. Amen. Amen. All right. Now, I want to thank. Uh, today I had two people that ain't normally on program. Um, we we the Lord put it into my spirit to have some people that ain't normally on program. All right. So Amen. thank God for our MC today, Big uh -huh. Stanley Smith. I, I thought he was gonna give me a little flat, you know, when I texted him. He just said yes, sir. Praise God. Praise and, uh, God. Praise God. You know, I, everybody know him. He like top of the noise. He uh -huh. didn't say that. <laughs> and then our show was worried about this next one. Brother right. Vince did the welcome. Didn't he do a good job? <laughs> all, all he needed to do was open up the Bible and give a text. He was ready. <laughs> Amen. But I thank God for their willing spirits and they did a wonderful Amen. job on Praise today. God. Amen. 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 Thank you, St. Mary, uh, for your cooperation. Let me tell you something. St. Mary is a good church. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Pastor, I've never had no problems with St. Mary. Yeah. Pastor say you're going to have service at 2, not 3. They don't say nothing. All Amen. Right. All right. Amen. We didn't have church this morning because folks don't stay at church all day no more. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. So we just let them, amen, come and at two o'clock to be to be blessed and what a blessing it was amen so thank you so much amen for that uh anybody want to sister william you got all these folks here you won't recognize anybody some of them we've seen some of them we haven't seen in all the this year, I didn't invite them. I didn't invite my kids. I just sit. But I'm so happy to have it. It's just children, grandchildren. Uh-huh. And that's it. All I got is grapes. Uh-huh. But that's what I got here today. Just my immediate. All right. Yeah. 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 We just have a few friends and family. I have my one of my best friends, Brother Randy. All right. Hey, my right. Dallas with him. Yeah. 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 Nephews, they don't normally come, but it's good to see them in the house of the Lord. Yeah. And 
I got Marquis over here. Mm. Mm. Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, Rev. Rev. Jackson Friday. All right. But we're just thankful to have everybody. Though each and every one of y'all that came today, we want to say thank you. It's always a blessing to be here. We could have been somewhere else, but we chose to be here. It's a blessing to be here and to be able to be here. To say thank you, Lord, for giving me another day. Amen. So I just say thank you to everybody. Each church, the pastor. I, I love the college boys too. Red, red, red. We all ready, y'all. All right. Thank y'all for coming. Uh, Coopers, y'all want to recognize anybody? I might have called the car. All right. Okay. And who else? All right.
for you that are here. Uh, on this day, we pray you've been blessed by the word of God. You have the best seat in the house. And uh, we thank God for his mercy and his grace. We can see my uncle in the house, my dad, all of my family. Right. And my father, the support is real. Let's get my name. Uh, we're actually going to have a fish fry. It's going to be on tomorrow. We're going to celebrate the anniversary of fish and uh, chicken strips and fries and salad. I'm going to beat Jones and some bones. I'm going to put some dominoes on this on the table slamming. You get it in, and you're not unsafe because you play dominoes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We thank God for each of you. We love you and everything you do about it. Now, I have one conflict uh, with today's service. Just one. And that is that the St. Mary Choir, I know y'all think I was going to leave without saying. Y'all singing at our church next Sunday for my anniversary. But see, when St. Mary come over there and you ain't there, they be like, hey, we ain't saying we just show up. We represent it. They give you like this. And when I come visit over here, and somebody gonna send a note, tell the usher or somebody, because I got the same when I come over here. So, Pastor, can you make sure the choir? This song so great. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> the same song, with the same energy. Ain't even asking for A and B. Just same song, same energy. Look at your neighbor say neighbor. Neighbor. I need you. I need you. But listen, don't get it twisted. Don't don't get it twisted. You need me too. You need me too. Alright. Now sing from your diaphragm. Your stomach. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Amen.